get dinner and play all good stuff. I'm just excited. I think Sarah and Austin are literally perfect together. So it's gonna yeah. be a good day. We met in medical school, probably some of the worst times of our lives. <laughs> We're trauma bonded. I call Sarah and Austin my mom and dad. <laughs> <laughs> they, they just uh, they 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 let me tag along with them everywhere, and it's it's been really nice. And I love Sarah to death. So Cora is the only person that can put Sarah in her place and not get yelled at. I can tell Sarah. <laughs> Sarah's a little different. She called me and or called Sylvia and said, I'm "Bringing over this guy, Austin. He's not going to be. He won't come in the house. We have to talk in the driveway." <laughs> All right. So we did. Right. Maybe a week later, we let him come up on the porch. I remember always as a kid wanting to spend time with you wanted to be around you even during our like Janko days well your Janko days and tie-dyed shirts and the butt cut haircut and uh, I was like this weird confused gangster <laughs> I remember the first time that I met Sarah you had said I remember the conversation you had said vaping is just as bad as smoking cigarettes for you and I said where are you some kind of doctor <laughs> I never in a million years thought Austin would date a doctor, yet alone marry one. I see you dancing, Rosalina, Lina. I'm at your window tonight. Go to your daddy, I don't need you, need you. I don't care if it's all right. Hey there, Mr. Mr. Wanna meet your sister looking at her for a and you look over your shoulder as girl is getting older and she wants to find freedom tonight You set my heart on fire Oh no, the more that I think about it I walk the tightrope wire It's for the thrill of fight Keep, keep looking my way On behalf of Austin and Sarah and their families, welcome to beautiful Lake Geneva. What a great place we get to gather in today. Growing up, they came here during summers and holidays to visit her grandparents. Her parents even had their honeymoon here. Sarah's grandfather, her Opa, is no longer with us, but I know it's so special to have her Oma here today. And I just wanted to take a moment to acknowledge all the love here, those who are here in spirit, and, those, and all of us. We surround Sarah and Austin in love today. Thanks for sharing this place and bringing us here to celebrate. I met Austin back in 2006 when his life was drastically different than it is today. <laughs> How did we get here? Um, yeah, his life was a mess. But anyway, that was <clears throat> 16 long years ago. I was there the day Austin saw Sarah for the first time. It was at a 4th of July parade in Northside, and that was back in 2017. I knew Sarah through mutual friends as a kind, beautiful, and smart woman, and kind of wanting Austin to aim a little higher <laughs> in his relationships, I said, that's who you should go out with. Austin said, well, he said all kinds of stuff. <laughs> but one thing that I'll repeat is he said, I'm gonna marry that girl. And here we are, like five years to the day later. The first thing I said when I saw you at the Northside Parade was, I'm going to marry that girl. Although it was a lighthearted joke at the time, and you had other plans, I couldn't be more honored that it came to be true. You are without a doubt the best thing that has ever happened to me. You push me when I need push. You hug me when I need hug. You dance whether I like it or not. <laughs> You know me better than anyone else in this world, and still somehow you manage to love me. You have taught me what it means to trust. You have shown me what it feels like to be loved. 
I will never get used to how beautiful, smart, kind, and compassionate you are. I promise to listen to you for as long as it takes for you to feel heard. In times that are hard, I will comfort you. I promise to always encourage you. I promise to never stop admiring your huge, strong, determined heart. I promise that we will laugh often and cry seldom. I promise to love you with everything I have forever. We are 100% without a doubt compatible. <laughs> I remember seeing you on July 3rd, 2017, and the way you looked at me made me feel special. Several months later, you asked me out, and I told you no, because I didn't think we were compatible. <laughs> what I really meant is that I saw you as fun, adventurous, and charismatic, and I was scared I would be too boring for you, and that you, I would end up getting hurt. But all the while, I was still attracted to you, and so a year later, when you asked me out again, I set my fears aside and said yes. Somehow, as we, different as we are, you are the person I've been able to be my truest self with. I vow that I will continue to be true to myself and to you throughout our marriage. I'm so thankful that I found my unexpected match in you, and I'm so excited to start our marriage together. I love you. Well, I pronounce you husband and wife. You can kiss. <laughs> I'm married now. That's all right, I'm going to pronounce it. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting for the first time as husband and wife, Austin and Sarah. We need some bubbles. Anybody want to blow bubbles? Love you guys. It's a brand new day. Austin are the total embodiment of strength. Making time for friends and family while working demanding careers, both which I am incredibly proud of you for. I know it is not easy, but you both truly make it look that way. In each other, you have found the perfect partner both to have fun with, but also to stay strong. I am so proud of both of you and happy to call you my family. I love you so much and you both deserve the absolute world. It's a brand